So Nana Banana Pro just dropped the update to Google's free image generation and editing model. People are saying that not only does it have more nano, but it has three times the amount of banana. Is it a game changer? Is it all just more AI hype? Did Google really cook here? Today, we find out. I'm going to be breaking down exactly what Nano Banana is, how to get it right now, and then we're going to be stress testing it live, building a complex scene from scratch, testing camera angles, character consistency, and more. Sound good? Drop a like on the video and let's get right into things. So why is this update such a big deal? The old Nano Banana solved a massive problem by letting us make extremely precise edits to images without breaking the underlying image or changing things. It was all great until it wasn't. It would ignore you, delete characters, not follow directions, and a lot of the times it would fail at complex tasks. But Nano Banana Pro is a different beast. It's built on Gemini 3, which by all accounts is the most advanced AI model right now. And Nano Banana Pro is saying that it can take simple input images and then output extremely complex infographics that look a lot like this, creating all consistent text in multiple languages. That sounds pretty cool. We're gonna test that out. It's also saying that it just has better visuals as a whole. And then it's saying, and I don't believe this at all, we are going to be testing this, that it can take these 12 little monsters from Monsters Inc or whatever they are and put them all in the picture and they all remain consistent and then change that. I don't believe that. I might just be a boomer. I don't know what's going on, but we're going to test this. How can it create multiple different character scenes? And then finally, it's saying that it has advanced control for camera and angles. Let's go in and test all of these things. Getting access to Nano Banana is incredibly easy. All you need to do is go to gemini.google.com. You're taken to your chat interface. How you make sure you're using Nano Banana is that you make sure you are on the thinking model. You want the thinking with three pro model. You click that and then you go down to tools and you hit create images. You are now using Nano Banana Pro. So what image should we create first? Let's ask to create a storyboard. Create a storyboard for an anime scene of a couple having a romantic dinner at a fancy restaurant simple let's see what it comes up with so one of the things i'm noticing off the rip is that when you know you're using nano banana pro it says generating image with nano banana pro another thing that i'm noticing right off the bat here before we even get our first output is that it's taking way longer to do this nano banana the old model did it in like seconds this new one is thinking you can see it's going through its logic here so it definitely takes a little bit longer let's see if the quality is worth the wait a very long wait i'm still waiting it's gonna take me a long time to film this video. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Okay, wow, this is cool or bad, depending on how you wanna use this. So I thought it was going to create an image that looked like the storyboard image from the guide here. I thought it was gonna look something like this. So it created all four images. It created our first image of the man sitting at the table, waiting for his date. The date arriving, here she is. Now they're at the table, they're having a good time. And now they're leaving. So it actually created all four images. I thought it was going to create like an infographic. So that's actually quite cool or annoying depending upon how you have that. Let's prompt and see if it'll create a storyboard for us. I'm going to adjust my prompt here. Oh, look at this. And so this is, wow. Okay, th this is what it came out with. We have the wait, the arrival, the dinner, and the departure. So let's go in and let's like say, let's create the man's character and then see if we can reinsert him back into the images that we just created. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to pick a random guy. Just a random guy. Like, let's get a good looking guy in here. Um, this guy looks pretty good. Let's let's use him. So I'm going to use him. Let's turn him into anime. First off, I'm transforming the image. I want not only a full body shot, but I want to put him into an anime style. I want it to be a specific 1990s anime style. And then I want to remove things about the image. I don't want this headset on. Um, or the microphone. I don't know how my date's going to react to that. So let's clean myself up um, and then insert him into the scene. Let's actually also edit what I'm wearing. So honestly, guys, before I hit enter here, I'm, I will be blown away if it does this on the first try. If it does, that is incredible. Let's see. So once again, we asked for a couple different things. I know right away that the old model would not be able to do this. The anticipation is killing me right now. So just as we wait for this image, let's go over the limits and uses of it. Three images per day for the free plan, 100 images per day with the pro plan, or 1,000 with Ultra. For all my free users out there, you're going to really want to know what you're doing here when you use this model. Okay. It did it, everyone. It took me. It removed me from... <laughs> I'm actually blown away by this. Holy shit. It, it took that input image of me, that ratty image of me, just you grabbed from one of my YouTube videos with the same moldy hoodie I wore in, in the Sora guide. It, it, it took that hoodie off. It cleaned me up. Um, wow. 
So, so this is crazy. This is actually very powerful. It did all of that in just one step. Now let's move on to step two. So now let's go in and let's insert the arrival, my date coming to the table. And who should I go on a date with? Let's just pick a date from random, completely random off the top of my head. Um, the teacher from Persona 5. Okay. Yeah. It's AI. Let's explore limitless possibilities. So I, I'm just, I didn't, I didn't have anything prepared, but here she is. And let's go back into, let's drop our reference image here of the character into the chat. Now, another thing that I just noticed after I just submitted this, as it thinks, is that one of the other challenges with old Nano Banana that I'm generating in a 16 by nine format. And I just gave it an image that's in a square format how nano banana would then generate the output image in the format of the last image that you gave it so we're going to see if it maintains the consistency of our 16 by 9 format okay so it did it uh one of the issues that it looks like a nano banana pro still has that the old model has is that it output in the in the same format as the last image that i gave it so keep in mind as you generate images, if you want a 16 by nine format, the last image that you put into chat needs to be in 16 by nine format, or it's going to default the output to the last image that you give it. Let's see if we can fix that via a text prompt. And it did it everyone. It fixed the ratio to 16 by nine, just by me asking without me needing to inject an image. So I think if you just ask for the correct ratio, it'll give it to you. Okay, so now let's, so, so it can obviously handle a complex image. It can relate instructions from that complex image. It handles character consistency very well. Once again, we haven't left one chat. This is kind of blowing me away. Let's not move right to scene four. Let's ask for iterations on this. Let's add like 10 characters into this completely at random again. And then let's see if it can handle that while maintaining to the story at the end. Let's maybe add, let's add Rise Chan from Persona 4, which by the way, I mean, she's like gotta be in her thirties by now. So this is not weird. Let's add Vegeta, Goku. Let's add Goku in there. Let's add Faye from Cowboy Bebop. Let's also add the green haired chick. <laughs> I'm just picking characters at random, everyone. Um, let's add the girl with the green hair from Code Geass. I don't remember what her name was. And what's that one blonde girl from, uh... yeah, yeah, let's add, let's add this girl in here as well. Um, this is randomly selected. This is, ran this is completely random. Okay, so we have, we're injecting six characters into this scene. All chosen, 100% random. And so let's be very careful with our prompt here because we want it all to be in the same style. Okay, please give me, always say please to the AI. It may become sentient one day and you want to be on its good side. So I've been impressed so far, but if it does this, I'll be super impressed. And this is what it gave us. We're living in a wild world, everyone. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Let's just have, you know, m myself and some of the characters from the scene leaving in scene four, the departure. And let's change the car to a Gundam. That sounds cool. So let's just choose characters at random for me to be leaving with. Have the original man from the scene leaving with all of the female characters in our last scene, the departure. And instead of a car outside, it's a giant Gundam. So it missed two of the characters. Now I'm wondering if I ask it, hey, you missed two of the characters. Can you add them back in? Let's see if it does it. Look at this. It literally figured out which two characters were missing and it pulled their names as well wow so it did it everybody that's crazy we live in such a wild time i'm like two parts excited and scared right now this is so incredibly powerful and let's see if it can upscale it though yeah so I, I don't think it upscaled it but regardless that's still crazy the power here so my honest impressions after going through the testing is that this is an absolute game changer this is no hyperbole this is probably the coolest ai tool i've ever seen it's 100 percent going to be worth the hype that it gets Secondly, I did all of those tests in a single chat. That is a massive improvement with the old nano banana. You were starting a new chat for almost every image. It was incredibly annoying. This handled all of that referencing characters, really incredible handled like 10 characters at once adhered to a storyboard. The use cases for this are incredible and your ability to incorporate this into your workflows, whether planning out shots or developing certain camera angles, I think is going to be an absolute game changer for filmmaking, infographics, creative, advertising, everything. I suggest you try it and try it quickly. I think it's going to be an absolute game changer. Everyone, the tools are moving so fast, but if you want to understand how to use them, as well as put them into production to create your own films, your own anime, your own short films, that is what my channel is all about. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. I really appreciate 
every single one of you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.